everyone, it's Julia. Today I'm going to show you this little Easter craft that I've been working on. Um, I'm going to be adding paint with my jelly plate, so I'll be going over that. And also I'm going to show you a hint that I use for stamping on fabric. So stay tuned for that. I'm using my March subscription to my May May Made It stamps. It's a little Easter theme, and I really love this cross with the John 3 verse 16 on it. So that's the one I'm going to be using. This is multi-purpose cloth, cloth by Rockland. This is a wonderful fabric, and I'll link where I get it down below. I found it on Amazon, and I've also found it at Dick Blick. But it's a non-woven, so it doesn't unravel at all. It also has like a canvas um, feel to it. It works really well for these little bookmarks. I'm cutting these in a 3 inch by 5 inch rectangle and we'll be using my 3 by 5 inch jelly jelly plate for the for the painting. Now I've got just an odd assortment of things here. Just random tubes of my acrylic paints, my stencils, some rubber stamps, and just various things to add some texture. Paper towel roll. In between, I'm just cleaning with a baby wipe. And I also have like a, a deli um, tissue off to the, my left side there that I am kind of cleaning my, my brayer off. Bubble wrap works really well too for a texture. And then I'm using my end of my paintbrush just to add a little bit of color to that around the circles there. Another rubber stamp. I'm adding paint to the back side of my pieces also. It's just that the backs got kind of messy when I was painting. I'm adding gesso to the front just to kind of soften up that background a bit. The impression of my stamping will show up a bit better. Now on to the stamping and this is my trick. I take an old CD case and I use it similar to like a misty stamping tool, which I don't have. And so this kind of works for some of the smaller projects. I position my rubber, my clear stamp, or it'll cling right, right to the cover of this CD case. I'm positioning my fabric so that it's where I want it. And then I just hold it down with a couple pieces of washi tape. Sometimes print, or when I stamp on fabric, it just doesn't stamp the way I want it to. And so this really helps. I'm using the Archival Ink by Ranger. I'm just adding the, the ink to my stamp and then flipping that lid over and pressing it down. I actually pick it up here too in a little bit and just really kind of squeeze the two lids together just to make sure that that impression is right. And now I can go ahead and add another layer of the ink. And I know that my stamp is in the right position. And I can do this as often as I need to get the imp imprint that I need.
I discovered I can get actually two of these designs off of off of each one of these three by five pieces here and so I'm repositioning my fabric in there and then I'll go ahead and I'll ink up my my stamp again and do the same thing over I'm cutting these out, just kind of fussy cutting them around. Leaving a little bit of a top on them. And drawing a little circle on that top and poking a hole with my crop a dial. I have so many eyelets left over from my scrapbooking days, so I thought this would be a good spot for them. I'm just setting it with a little tool. the back of it and then stringing a piece of, of fiber through that little eyelet and that's it I hope you enjoyed this project I hope it gave you some ideas thanks so much for watching bye